Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. I'm Stratix, and this is my channel. I don't have a channel name yet, but tonight we're going to do some Monaco. It's going to be a short night tonight. I just want to kind of relax. I've been up way too late a few nights playing way too many games, and I need to chill out. I almost didn't live stream tonight, but um, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to keep going. So, and for anybody who doesn't know what Monaco is, it's a top-down game. It's a top-down game of heist. Uh, and it is single-player or co-op. And it's co-op with friends or online with random, with randoms. Uh, and it's kind of fun. It's a little confusing for some people. Uh, when they first see it, they are not quite sure what to make out of of it, but it really is a fun game. It, the downside is it can make you like just start screaming your head off at your friends. Uh, it can so it's not I don't know. In some ways, it's not necessarily the uh, coolest game to play with strangers. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on your personality. Um, But let me double check my settings. Yep, it's only saying acceptable now. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I think it has to do just with the certain level of encoding. <clears throat> All right. So it takes, uh, some of the controls are used, you don't use the mouse, you actually use the up and, the arrow keys and the, uh, space bar. So, uh, up and down and to select your mode. Uh, you can do mission, oh, from, missions from the original, it looks like some things changed. There's, uh, it looks like there's some actually new game modes I've never played before. Zombie enhanced missions refined and updated with new features. Ha! Huh. Let's go back to classic to kind of get my feet wet again. Kind of just ease it into it. It's a really colorful game. That uh, I don't know. It's really colorful and it's really neat how they present stuff. And it was really fun. I played with two of my friends. Most of the time we play three player. It's a total of four players. Uh, and you get different characters, and each one has a specific job it can do that gives it an advantage over the other classes, if you want. You're playing Monaco online. To join a match, simply select a mission. If no open matches, this one will be created for you. Okay, you can see some of the stuff I've already done. I've done a lot, because back in the day, I played with a bunch of friends. And uh, I did a lot of the Locksmith storyline. But, uh, who else's storyline did I do? The mole. I did the prologue for the mole. I think that was about it. But I did all. I, I didn't realize it did so much for just the, uh, the locksmith. I must really like the locksmith. So, let's just refresh my memory then with that, with the locksmith. And we let's start from the very beginning. Why not? Let's start over. Uh, it's a really interesting game. So we're in a room, and uh, we, see, I basically select the class I want, and this is sort of the hub waiting area, and we get a little um a little story. And this is it. I mean, the graphics are different. It's kind of weird, but you can get it. You can understand it. Uh, it's a stormy night, and there looks like to be a building, and it's called the Lookout. Psst. Shipping you guys off tomorrow? We oui. and to be deported, and they will throw Hector in a zoo. Relax, chief. I can get us out of here. That's me, I guess, the locksmith. And I'll see the cleaner is another character. The Lookout is another character. The psychopath is coming to... He's, um, I don't know which one had the accent. Maybe they all do. He's better not. He better not make a sound. Escape from prison while the storm lasts. Ready? 
And okay, let's go. And now this is gonna be top down. Uh, if you've seen that new game coming out soon called Door Kickers, it's sort of the, a very similar look, but the gameplay is different. And it's really kind of really a lot of fun in this in its own way. Now see, it looks very confusing. People are always like, I have no idea what's going on. What the heck is going on here? It, it is, but you're using your air, up and down it up, down, left, right arrow keys. And what you have is you have a field of vision. And that's what you're getting with uh, when you go like this. Now the colors are just there to be colorful, okay? Don't let that throw you off thinking that's... Okay, that's just because it's a very colorful game. But anything you cannot see will be a gray, like, blueprint. Like on piece of... like a blueprint on paper. So... Everything you can see will be all different colors. And then there'll be little icons for these doors that, like they're saying here, they're saying they're locked. Now, my special skill is locksmith, but all I have to do is, is hold the button towards the door. I don't even have to really, that's it. It's very simplistic, and you get to see that little clock that goes. That's my, that's my action being performed. Now I can come in here, and if there was treasure or something, I'd see it. Sometimes I won't be able to see through all the doors. And then, uh, sometimes. Oh! <laughs> I just used to. <laughs> gotta use the bathroom before I get out of here. Now other characters, now this is the introductory, eventually it will get very complex. It actually gets really, mixes things up a lot. Uh, because you can make, you make sound every time you walk. See your footprints? You can easily, uh, you can easily alert guards nearby. And they have different, they have their own kind of, their own, they they have their own kind of like artificial intelligence. They their their own scripted mechanics, or if you will, and uh, it, it can be really tricky get performing the higher level tasks. Like sometimes you have to rescue some, you have to like break someone out, you have to steal some money from from, from different locations, and it can get really tough. It can, and then if you start throwing yourself into a four player environment with three strangers or even three of your friends, then you have a whole cooperation kind of side to the game. So let's move on. Now see, watch out for guards. Look at this guy. Watch out for guards. This is very kind of an easy thing here. There's there's a guard. Dear mom, dad. Life as a guard, prison guard has been pretty boring. Mainly I spend all night just staring. Okay, so hold shift plus. Oh wait a second, you can you can move. Oh, you can use the, the W A S D keys, not just the arrow keys, and then you can that way you can do it like a first person shooter game, like an FPS, like Call of Duty or whatever, an FPS game, like Planet Side Two. So hold shift. You can just hold shift and then why does it say I'm hold sh hold shift to sneak. I'm not quite sure why it's saying oh, hold shift or the right mouse key while you're moving. So WASD keeps moving and then you can either put the right use the right mouse key or hold shift. Just like a um, first person shooter. So we'll move on. And these are coins that just give you points and bonuses, and there's tons of achievements and different... And achievements are a big deal in this game, because there's tons of little ways to constantly improve yourself and do a better job on each level. So hold Control a to view objectives. Um, Control... Uh, whoops. Control a Oh, Control... Control a Ugh. I'm not getting that one. Because 
as soon as I hit control, that pops up. Control A, and A is just WASD movement. Okay, if I press the mouse wheel, it's telling me the same thing as if I just press control. And it's saying escape, escape in the bottom left. Okay, that's a good reminder. That's pretty much it. So I guess it's a simplistic method or goal for the beginning here. So here we are. Now, ooh, look at this. We're sneaking in the back into the tunnel. We have to keep holding. See, if I let go, if I let go, I have to start all over with my task. It's very cool because you get used to the the graphics are very good for what it is. It's a top down, and the, and there gets to be so many op, uh, obstacles and ways around things. Eventually, you can get a digger, and he can actually like break through parts of the walls. Now this here, watch what happens. It, it shuts things down, so it lets me sneak through. But it's temporary, because eventually someone will fix it. I believe someone will fix it eventually. But anyways, that's the point. They will in later levels. Now I can. I was able to get. Now I'm like in a duct or in a. So it's very cool. So now we're going to street level. Going up the steps. Or the ladder. Now we're at street level. And now in, when you're outside, you can do things like hide in a bush. So when a, a guard starts coming by, you can be like, oh my gosh, you can hurry up and hide in the bush. See, look, there's a guard there. And, if I'm not mistaken, see my limited view? And you can hide in here, because this is like a tree. Now see how I have limited view? I can't actually see down that corridor until I go like this. Now I have a line of sight. See, now I have a little bit of line of sight in there. See that guard walking around. It's very neat. Very neat, kind of. Can't do anything with that. Now, and later on there becomes a hacker. Uh-oh, see what's going on here? See, you don't see. It's really, you lose your line of sight, so it's like very tricky. Cool. Uh -oh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I could just sneak past him. Now shift, oh, 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 shift to sneak. So I'm not making any noise, see? I uh, see. Came out, came this way. I'm sneaking so he won't be able to hear me. I won't make as much noise. But they could still catch you if they're really close and like on top of you and actually have line of sight to you. They can still catch you even when you're sneaking. So you really have to be careful. And I'm gonna whoop. See, I'm trying to be really sneaky in here. And they're, they're the the way they behave. Uh oh. Stop it, Ubuntu. Uh oh. Oh, he saw me. Now I can come out here and hide before he came out the door. See? This is neat. See, he didn't. He lost me. I lost him. And there's a security camera over there on the right. So now I can try again. Hopefully, he walked and went back to his regular routine. Now see, his routine changed a little bit, even. It's very, very kind of tricky. And now I'm trying to be an overachiever and get all these. Now see, I gotta be careful when I come this way. Oh. I kinda wanna see if I can... Yeah, see, there's stuff down here I wanna get to be an overachiever. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I now I can get health if I want to heal myself. Bandages. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Dude is right there. So I think I have. To, oh. I think I have to go up and to the right now. It's very fairly simple for this first part. Anyways, I'm kind of just. Now see, this is pretty much the end. So I would just pack this here, and then just escape. And then here's the exit right here. I spent a lot of time on this. Just from the beginning. Ooh, really right. Woot, woot. Now I need to adjust the volume, because it that was loud. So, volume, uh, escape to go back, options, settings, okay, where's audio, sound, I, I'm thinking that'll do it. There's even voice chat in here, push to talk. So I think if I went into a lobby, I would I, you're automatically put into a voice chat. I think. So that's something you to, to be careful about. You might automatically, because you might not, I mean, you know, you, you could get, people can say anything they want, pretty much, is what I'm getting at. Alright, so let's move on to the next part. The hijack at the hairpin. I'm just going to keep taking the locksmith. We need passports. So, it, and there's a leaderboard. Here's overall, one player, all time. Overall. Uh, it looks like they're tell showing the top four here. Uh, how fast they got through this. So you could do, you can really keep going through this and doing, doing, um, speed runs like crazy to, to master it. There's money, friends. You guys remember the thick fella from Cell Block B, the one who dug the tunnel? The mole. Nobody locks up mole. Mole has freedom spoon. <laughs> freedom spoon. Apparently he's connected. Interpol is transferring him to Clairvaux by bus. We hijack that prison transport. We should have all the friends we'll ever need. A mole is connected to the criminal underworld. Rescue him from the hijack prison transport. Ready? So we have to rescue the mole. Rescue the mole. Now I don't know if my chat's working because... Because... Okay, look at here. We can get some items. Steel coins for more ammo. So we can get these items here. And, I'm forgetting how they work. I think we just use the space bar. And now, this is where you definitely want a mouse. See? Because this is like top down, like that old school, like those old school action games where, where you walk with the, with the joystick on your left hand. And then you aim with the joystick in your right hand. So that's what you're doing. You're aiming the gun with your mouse. And you can hit the left mouse button now that I think about it to uh, shoot the gun. And you will run out of ammo and maybe fairly fast. But the more of these coins you get, the you'll get more ammo for that. For collecting these coins. So... We have some wrecked cars, it looks like, here. I'm just going to collect these. Nothing's in my way. I don't know why I'm sneaking. I'm just going to collect all this stuff, because it's all right. There's a ton of it here. And they kind of give you hints to where to where to go. But it does get harder as you progress. The, and, the, I mean, there's a lot of room for, for mixing things up here. It really gets kind of fun. Okay, press space bar to shoot. Yeah, I've already explained that. These are just birds, but let's sneak up on this guy and this poor fella. Oh, poor guy. 
Now, you can't just do that with anybody. That makes a noise that can alert other other guards and other people. So you you always have to pay attention to sound and the sound you're creating by walking with your footsteps versus sneaking uh, and shooting, which will do a lot to alert people. So now we need to go up, go up here. Okay. Now, see, we just got more ammo, and our ammo is determined by the little tiny white border around the blue board around the blue which is my health but there's a tiny little thin white border you'll see and that I believe is how much how many shots I have remaining because I used one of them okay so I picked that up uh, I came from here I have to get on here so I constantly have to be careful because I don't know where all the guards are. I see one guard over there. Steal 10 coins for one extra ammo. So that's how it is. Every 10 it's telling me. That's probably standard for most everything. Now see, I'm, this is probably going to be fairly straightforward to shoot that guy and I won't get... I won't... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> you didn't even see me. Uh oh, I need to go back in here, so he's probably going to come back. i got to be careful here. I'm, I'm just being an overachiever, trying to get all these coins. So yeah, whoop, I just got one more ammo. Now I'm going to try to get down here. Now, if I shoot that guy... I'm probably gonna alert that guy up there, so I really. But I think I'm good here. Oh, 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 oh. Why is there two things here? Aha! Look at that. The double door. Hold Control A to view coin count. Hold Control. Is that Control or A? Coin count. I don't see a coin. I don't see my coin count. Got, but I'm too like a little, a little too nervous to really kind of do that right at the moment. Oh, that's a huge like door thing, thing. That's a door thing. See, now you can't, you just can't see everything because you're lying to sight. It's really neat. Uh, it really is a kind of fun little game. Okay. Um, oh no no! I need to. Okay. Now you can see, even barely see his footsteps, right? And it's sort of like mimicking you sensing his footsteps in a way. Okay. Now we're in here getting these coin, this coinage. Oh, there's. We want to get this coinage here. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh! See, I could have alerted him. I'm gonna try to get all of this. Oh, I could have sworn I saw him go that way. And we don't know what's in here. We can see coins on the on the blueprint. We can see all that. These are just little birds. Now. But we, but I think that will alert. See, we, there, we spooked a bird, and I think that will, in, the, in later lever, levels, that will alert guards, and stuff. Uh, here's what I want to do. It's up in, it's get up in here. Nope. So let's just go back down here, sneak around. Uh oh, uh oh, shoot. But we've already made it to the shoreline, so we kind of escape, anyways. I did get caught. So, there he is. Here he is, the mole. 
But we, let's get this, uh, let's get these coin, this coinage first before we talk to him. Help, help, help. Now let's go to him. And we just touched him. And now we are, now we have to escape. See, dun, 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 in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Now see the arrows? All we have to do is press towards rock. See, we can dig right through this stuff. See, watch. It's kind of neat. Dig. Dig, watch. I think we can even dig through some of the walls. See? Dig. <laughs> we can just keep digging. Which is kind of cool. What is this? Can we dig through? Th some of the things we cannot dig through. Alright, there is actually some things that we cannot dig through. But we can dig through this to get that coin. And now, what do we want to dig through here? I'm going to dig through over here. Like I said, this this is kind of beginning stuff still, but it's fun. Now there's our getaway boat. And that's what the icons are showing us. I love the aesthetic of this game. It's, it is a kind of really fun little game. Alright, let's get on our boat. Yay, now we escape. It only took us eight minutes. Woot! Daily rank number one. My new all-time rank, 98,000. Okay, so now we'll move on to the Lebanese Embassy. And let's make... Now sometimes, if you're playing this single-player stuff, uh, sometimes it, it, they do kind of make it easier to be what you just unlocked. Uh, hey, Vicious, this is... You've never seen Monaco? You've never played Monaco before? Monaco is a really fun four-player four player online and offline co-op game of heist. And it's a top-down map where you're looking at a blueprint. You have things like line of sight. You have sound. You can alert people. You can sneak. You can get some weapons. You can hide. Uh, you can and you can get many different characters. Each character will have its own special skill. Like the mole can dig through walls. The locksmith can br open locks. The hacker can debug security systems, um, and so on. There's other characters too. There's even a redhead that can that can um, lure the guards with her sultry good looks, and uh, and. It helps you get through the level because it it's a fascinating game. It really is a fun game. It's it's all about co either you know it's all about cooperation and working with people. But you can play single player too, on some up to a point I think. It's just it's fun. It's colorful. It was a it was a usually popular some months back. So we're on the we're doing the Lebanese embassy. This is called Monaco. What's yours is mine. <laughs> Well, that's the tagline. What's yours is mine. Nah, I don't. I don't watch football. Sorry, I, I'm not really a football. I used to be really into uh, hockey, and watch the Pens and the play. And you know, and the, the Stanley Cup. I loved to watch. Loved watching hockey back in the day. So here's our objective: steal passports from the Lebanese embassy so that you can escape the country. So here's what it looks like. And it looks confusing to people who've never seen the game before. But really, it's not confusing. It really is simplistic, yet it allows so much. So here we are. I'm in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm this little guy walking around, leaving footprints. Now I can hold shift and walk to not to be more quiet. So if I get near a guard, I can he won't I stand less chance of alerting the guard. So now this is still kind of tutorial stuff. So they're telling me there's all kinds of different weapons I can grab. And this, in this case, they're telling me to grab a smoke bomb. Now, in order to like complete tasks, all you do is press towards them with the arrow key. Like if I need to go through a door that's up from me or north, I just press north. On, I just press up on the arrow key. And it performs a little clock. Uh, in this case, see that little clock go? Some tasks take longer, some ta tasks are, sh are shorter. Now, there's little things like these little things are bushes. Now watch. I can hide in this bush. If a guard happens to come by, I can be like, oh my goodness, I gotta hide. 
There's lots of unique little strategies for trying to get through the levels. And especially when you have up to four players playing together simultaneously in co-op mode, it's it can be a fun, fun game. And it gets really hard to complete the tasks. It can get really hard because there'll be guards and alarm systems and dogs everywhere. I mean, it can, it can just get very, very, very hard. I was playing with two of my friends for a while. I think I, I don't know if I can get yeah I can only have one smoke bomb at a time and there's coins so there's there and and it's a time limit every level's timed so it's it makes people really want to do speed runs it was it was a while well, it still is a very popular game for trying to get world records and do speed runs and stuff on it just is a very simple game to grasp and start to play but it has excellent graphics and, uh, see, uh, now I went through that tree. I could have broken through. See? Now, breaking through, it creates a sound. And in later levels, it can get harder. Uh, I can alert the guards. Now, see, there's a guard right there. I'm sneaking, but I don't want, I gotta be careful. I'm not, I don't want to go that way. Now, the smoke bomb, you would use it like, um, anything you use, you press a space bar basically to use. Now I'm just gonna go up here. Now watch this it takes longer to go up the ladder. To and some of the some of the heists and things you have to do are multi leveled, so it's kinda like you you do one floor of a building, then the second and then the third. Be you know okay now this see here this see this alarm system? Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's red. Now you could, there's different things you could do. I think you can disarm it like this temporarily. Now see, his back, that guy's back is to me. And my line of sight, that's why the weird, that's what, you have to kind of ignore, at first ignore all the colors. They're just there to be pretty. But your line of sight, the reason why the colors keep changing all it is is mimicking like your line of sight which actually some people are used to now with other roguelike games but I'm sneaking around and now I want to be real careful here because that guy's right there now this stuff is still kind of on the easy side now I could dig right through this because I'm a mole, right? Oh, now see the guard? Did you see him move? And you see the question mark around his head? Do you see that? And he's coming after me. Shoot. He saw me. So I got to get out of here. I got to try to find somewhere I can hide. They sh he shouldn't come... He shouldn't follow me for too long if I'm not making noise. I you can escape if you find a bush around the corner, but they're real the AI in this game is really smart. A really really smart AI. Now he might go back to what he was doing, but he might start doing something else. He might start doing like a root like um now see, in this case he went back to what he was doing. Now dig see digging in this room I alerted him so that wasn't really a good idea. So now I'm just gonna sneak around here and then just go through here and these are health things if I run low on health I could get these but I'm full I'm on full health right now so now here's a bush I could hide in if I need to kinda inter it's just a fun game I could hide in all these bushes and then go from one bush to the other it's I love the graphics and the way they made this game it's really fun to play. I just, you know, I I got burnt out playing with my friends because I it's it is a little on the roguelike side and it, it's pressure. It can really make you start screaming your head off at your friends. Like it's one of those because you because in later levels it gets very hard and you have to cooperate, right? So imagine playing with three of your friends or even three strangers 
and they're not doing what you need to do to get through, and it's frustrating, and you could just be like, ah, gosh darn it, blah, 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 do it, just do it, do it right. So, me and my friends had a lot of fun, but we were, we were getting pretty hyper, and at each other's throats for a little while. So here we are, moving around, there's a guard, gotta watch out for him, ooh, and he's moving. Now, see, I gotta hide here. Now, he has a flashlight, too. That may, that flashlight also, all these, there's a ton of little things that come into play. Like his flashlight, my footsteps, my, the sound of me breaking stuff. Even in later levels, the sound of you hacking and, and like turning things off. Like sometimes you, you need to type on a typewriter, like on a computer. And even that stuff um, can be heard to a certain distance. So here we go. Let's just uh now we're going to go through here. See we kind of hacked that door. We it took a little while to break through the door. Now there is a a um a locksmith. He's quicker. He's you can still get in through locked doors with other characters, but the locksmith is quicker and I think quieter at it. Oh, 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 see. I don't know. And a lot of people are achievement junkies. They are a completionist because they try to get all the coins and they try to do all the extra side stuff, you know? So that's another aspect of the game that makes it really fun. The, whoever designed this game did a really, did a really rock solid job with it. I mean, it's not a perfect game, and I don't like to play it, like, all the time, non-stop, right? I get bored of it. But it's pretty, for what it is, it's pretty rock solid. So let's get this stuff here, just to be a c completionist. Now we can go on to the second floor. So what's Vicious been up to? You've been watching the game, huh? Okay, now we're on the second floor. Use computers to hack security. See, here's our little lesson. We're going to use this computer to hack these different security lines. See? And now, see, did you see that where it goes? You kind of have to learn also. See, that's another puzzle game element that's in this game. And it won't stay that way permanently. It'll eventually reset. Well, in many cases, in later levels anyways, in some levels it does reset. Oop, see it's resetting? Or I moved, um, see, th I'm forgetting the mechanic around this. That's why I decided to start over from the beginning. It has something to do with, now see it reset. Yep, see it all reset itself? Now I'm kind of in trouble. I could go here. There we go. Now, kind of, I think it follows along with me. I think is the is the gist of it, or it goes from one to the other, and then I just kind of have to keep up. Now, see that one's. I do have the smoke bomb. Now, see if I want to get that coin, it's going to be tricky because that guy's right there. Oh, now I could go. Oh, there's a guy right there. Now see, he's already ha oh, he already heard me. See that? Oh, now there's a guy heard me too. So if I go in here, hurry up and hide in here, in case he comes through the door. Yeah, see, now I'm hiding. They shouldn't see me. It can get tense. It's a fun little game. Went to a Super Bowl party. Cool, cool. You, I hope you were a good, good boy. Were you a good boy? No, <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Okay, so now I have no idea what this does. Okay, so it's going to allow me to get through these doors and, and such and stuff and things. Okay, now it's going to let me get through here into the main office. And now I'm in the main office. If I want, I can try... Oh, oh, there's a guard in there. So I'm going to skip that coin because I'm not going to be that much of a completionist. So now we're in the main office. We need to find the trophy and then head back to the car. It's very, a very fun game.
in its own right. Not a perfect game, but pretty solid bang up job it did. Ah, yeah, there you go. You let her have the fun, that's good, that's cool. Okay. I'm going to grab... Now see, I could really replay this over and over and over and try to get faster and faster every time, like speed running it. Which, uh, you know, I think a lot of people do. Look at, I'm running, I'm right behind this guy. Now uh, look at how many smoke bombs I got and I've built up. I don't even quite, not even quite sure what a smoke bomb does. We should just try it over here. Let's try it over here. Just, I want to see what a smoke bomb does. Oh, that's what a smoke bomb does. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got six... Uh-oh, see that? You got a phone call. Oh no, you got trash for cousin, okay. Oh, it lets you escape, okay. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool, it lets you escape and it's like he forgets you're there. <laughs> I guess. That's weird. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Now see, I'm doing really bad. I'm doing really bad. I'm glad I saved up a ton of these smoke bombs. At her uh, cousin's wedding. I would have just ate food. I would have ate tons and tons of food. If there was good food, which I'm assuming there was. Okay, see? I'm back to the down here. Now I have to get back. Now, I, now, I am a digger, so I can. I have to remember. I can shortcut things. Oh, and by the way, you can, whoops, I used the wrong button. If I remember right, there's a button to look at the whole map. Uh-oh. Let me go up here, because this guy's on me. Here we go. Now see, we're in like an air duct. We can hide out in here. See the footsteps going by, because they're looking for me. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of coins I never got down here. Now, see, I am... Oh, I forgot. I'm on the second... I'm on the second floor. I can't go outside. Oh, I need to hide in here. He's alerted. Okay. Now he's kind of... decided there's no trouble here. I forget what those little sparklies are, like the popcorn coming off of me. I forgot what that business is all about. I need to head back to the first floor, which I think is right up here. I'm not just going to trip the wire, because it's only going to take me a moment to get to the first. There we go. Okay, now I'm on the... F I'm on the first floor, and I think, I forget how to look at the whole map. There's a way to, like, look at the whole map. Now, if I wanted to, I can just start digging through walls, see? Bam ammo, which is kind of cool. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not quite as cool. I stunk right by him. But now, look at here. I can just be like, blammo. See the sneak? That's where I need to go. So I can just dig straight down and get to the escape car, car, not escape car. So there we go. Room, 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 and it only took me 15 and a half minutes, and I collected. I missed some coins. My new daily rank is two. Already unlocked. Prologue them now. See, every character has its own storyline too. So I could go down here to the moles prologue story or keep going with the locksmith to bon to Bank Albert. Bank Albert. 
Oh. Mole has friend that can help dirty criminals escape. Oh, he's talking in like uh, second person, third person, second person, third person. The cleaner. I forget what the cleaner can do. The cleaner has a way of being able to like go up and like knock. I oh, I think the cleaner can go up and and knock a guard unconscious real quick and easy, but it's only temporary. Like he can, if you sneak up behind him, you can like just go boof and knock him out for a few seconds to help you kind of get through stuff without alerting the other guards. So that's kind of cool. We may not be able to pick to afford that kind of service. Doesn't matter. Bank across street. Bank has lots of money. Dirty criminals should act like dirty criminals. Okay, so rob the bank so that you can pay a smuggler. So we got to rob a bank now. Now I am still playing this in one as a single player. I could get on, and you can hook up with with random people. Like you can make rooms and then jo people can join the room. So, now these are, I think, uh, there's, I forgot what that one is, health, and this is obviously a gun. Now to do the gun you need a mouse. Again, I was saying that in the beginning. This is sort of like the arrow key, the WASD keys are you, you let you walk around, up, down, right, left, and then the mouse, you can see I'm moving the mouse around to aim. So it's like those old video games where the left control joystick would move the character and the right joystick would aim and shoot. But now you can hit the left mouse button to shoot. Or I think you can use the space bar, I'm not positive. Now this here looks like a pile of money. Yeah, it's like extra coins or something like that. So you do you have to end up using the mouse and you sort of treat it like a first person shooter game. Uh you can hold shift to sneak, so I hold shift with, sort of with my pinky finger. There's civilians. Now this game gets even more f fun or complex by trying to complete missions without harming civilians, you know, like or trying to harm them all or you know, and not get caught by the guards. Now this up here looks like extra health. I oh this is a disguise. Now see, I'm disguised as a security guard. So now I can sneak and we're in a bank. So that's kinda cool. So we're gonna go through the turnstile. Now we need to hurry up because I think Uh oh. I felt bad, but I I didn't want him to go alert the other guards. <laughs> I feel bad for that. I do. Now we c Oh. Look at he's alerted. He's alerted too cuz he uh-oh. He's he's alerted. Oh my god. Oh, he healed him. You c okay, so the NPC I forgot about that. The NPCs can heal. Now let's go to street level cuz he's going to go warn dude here. Now we're on street level. We're still disguised. Get the money in the street. So get some more shotguns. Now that's a safe we're cracking. And got a ton more coins by cracking that safe. That little safe. We're outside. Now this is the... Here we are in the... the bank. And you'll notice that there's bushes, plenty of bushes to hide in. Let's see, now he stopped being alerted. Uh oh, see, there's another guard though. It can get really tricky. Now we can go down here, or we could go up through there. But I'm gonna go down this way. This is the personal banking area we're in. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Now that we don't want to cross that without disarming. The uh, we can't go across that. We have to disarm that. But I am the mole. Or am I? No, I'm not the mole. I see. If I would have taken the mole, I could have dug through. I could have just dug through the wall. Oh, here's a computer. I think this would disable it. Yeah. Uh oh. But there's a guard right there. Whoop! Someone's getting a phone call. Shoot. Let's sneak by. 
we can sneak by that. Now there's now we can try. That's it's a very it's all about being like an overachiever, in in a lot of ways. There's a lot of safes and uh, safes we could try to crack to get extra coin, you know, and stuff, and and just to do that that much better of a job and in the quickest time possible. Now here's the vault. This is I think yeah, it's gonna have. Oh, now see, shoot. I think we have to. Oh shoot! How do I? Oh, I have to. I can go up here. This is gonna be tough. I gotta get this. Now I only got one shot left, so I gotta be careful. Here. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, but I gotta stay ahead of this. I gotta stay ahead of it. Oh, it caught me. Now I gotta stay in here to kind of till things cool off. I think. Hope I don't know if they will though. See, I'm playing very poorly already. I, n I didn't even go to where I'm supposed to go. I went to the secondary vault because I, <laughs> I was just greedy. Now see, they I'm not quite sure why they're all making calls and stuff, but there is... Now here's where I'm supposed to go be going, to the underground, here. Uh... I forget what that even is. Okay, here's the bank security. Now look at all these guards in here. Ooh. Okay, I need to come down here because there's an empty... I have to hurry up and come through here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot. No, no, no. Let's see. I need to hurry up and just... I blew it. I blew it. Oh, shoot. I need to get out of here. Now, see, if I go in here real quick... I can lose them. My nose is itching real bad there for a second. Okay, things... But things still didn't really calm down because everybody's still on high alert and looking around now. But I think I got everything I need, right? I have to go... I, now I hit control to see what... Oh yeah, I can just escape now. To see my objective. So. Not many people on a Sunday night, I guess. Um, vicious. I don't even think you're still there. But now we can try to get out of here. Maybe through this way. That was close. Okay, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Final score, daily rank number two. Did all right. Unlocked. Already unlocked. The Manoir. Uh, Mousharde. Mousharde. I don't know. So, you know, I just wanted to play a little, have a little fun with uh, Monaco. What's yours is mine. Excuse me. I'm getting too used to this uh, casual gaming. I should probably keep them keep some more composure. Yeah, most are watching the Super Bowl, and Sundays are usually slow. So that's it. But thanks for watching. Um, 
let me see where I'm at here. Yeah. Um, No, that's, oops, that's the wrong one. I didn't want that. I think this is it. No? Nope, nope, come on now. Title. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so, that was, uh, that was Monaco. It's a fun game to go back to time and again, um, I didn't show really show off the multiplayer because I didn't want to get a group of three strangers in with me and have them like greet and kind of trolling the the uh, voice chat. I didn't want to risk that. But uh, now you might be able to turn those features on and off, like whether you really want to use them. But it, it really is important in a co-op game. When me and my two friends played a lot, we were using Skype. And we really kept talking, like, non-stop. And like I said, it can be a ton of fun, but it can also be aggravating. So it's one of those games where I like to only play with really good friends, and even then I only play for a short time because I can get real frustrated because they're always... It's one of those games where you people are just like, no, go this way, go that way. It's like, dag out, why'd you do that, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, nah, it's like, thanks a lot. Nah, you ruined it for everybody. And, you know, unless, I, well, like, maybe... Maybe not everybody would be like that way, but so that's it. Have a good night. Thanks, Vicious. Um, I'm gonna make a little highlight of this so people can watch it on rerun, and I'm gonna turn in early because uh, it's already 10 to 10 to 10, pretty much 9:47. So, all right. So, have a good night. Adios.